modern cooks have access to dozens of different oils, uh, including those harvested in nuts, seeds, fruits, various vegetation, summer cold press, either or undergoing all have specific flavor profiles and optimal temperature ranges. Uh, oh, although sesame oil, for instance, has often been implicated in classic tempura scenarios. Plain little vegetable oil is my tempura fuel of choice because it is completely devoid of flavor. It is cheap, biodegradable, and if I'm careful, I can filter it for use another day. One and a half quarts should do the job. The oil is in, the thermometer is attached, and the heat set to high. We're looking for 375 degrees, and keep in mind, oil heats faster than water, so don't have to get away. This will happen quickly. Make sure the rest of your hardware is in place. You'll need two bowls. I will go in here. The batter will go in here. More on that later. You'll need some tongs to deliver the food from the batter over to the oil. When the food is ready, we will retrieve with a uh, spider or some other uh, spinning device to the draining rig. My draining rig, paper towels, on top of the cooling rack, on top of the sheet pan. Also, next standing by, the final resting place. Some nice, uh, simple platters. And look. <laughs> Plain white paper. This is very traditional for tempura. But make sure you don't fold it straight on the angle. You want it to be just barely off angle. But don't get it backwards. Because I'm pretty sure that means uh, you know in Japanese. In this cuisine, everything means something. The old, the Japanese characters for tempura, which translates roughly into flower like gauze or batter like revealing dress depending on how you read it. Now, when the Portuguese first unleashed tempura on Nippon, the uh, batter was simply water, meat flour, and egg. Now, I have tried every possible combination thereof and uh, cannot for the life of me come up with anything even remotely like the uh, sample that we examined earlier. As you can see, clunky, greasy, nasty, like really bad fish and chips. The uh, problem, as I see it, is of course, Gluten, as any good Good Eats fan knows. Anytime we mix wheat flour and water together, two molecules, glutenin and gliadin, unwind and intertwine, forming a resilient yet elastic matrix. Gluten is springy, gluten is tough, and what's worse, gluten holds on to both water and fat. This translates to gummy, greasy tempura, not exactly gauze like revealing dress or whatever it was. So, here's the goal. We're going to minimize the gluten. That means using ingredients that minimize water and uh, glutenin and gliadin. And we're going to mix the batter as quickly as possible. And since gluten can form just sitting in the bowl, we're going to make the batter at the very last possible moment before frying. First things first, let's reconsider the flour. Now instead of 10 ounces of all-purpose flour, let's try five ounces each rice flour and unbleached cake flour. Now, rice flour, easily obtained in most mega markets and certainly Asian markets, contains no gluten-forming molecules, and cake flour is finely milled so that it integrates quickly into batters. Why is unbleached important? Well, let's consider starch grains. Shall we? The process of bleaching isn't just about making the uh, flour white, though that certainly is a factor. It's really about making the starch granules themselves more fat friendly, a positive characteristic in, uh, in cake baking. Now, bleaching chemically cracks open the starch structure. There, it is now more fat uh, soluble. By using an unbleached cake flour, you can avoid this over friendliness. Now, if you can't find unbleached, go ahead with regular cake flour, but know that it will make a subtle difference. And to poor success, it's all about subtle differences. of liquid into the flour, and that's uh, why we're going to set the batter bowl down to an ice bath. As for the batter itself, if we uh, switch out the water, it's called for in most recipes, either salt or water or club soda, we will introduce a lot of tiny bubbles into the batter, which will 